you know, lots of stuff probably tomorrow. I expect lots of angles tomorrow to build up uh, Tuesday. Um, they were promoting Tuesday hard on Fox with Roxanne Perez there. And, uh, you know, they know, you know, I mean, like, no matter what anyone says publicly about, we just do what, what's in our plans and we don't worry about the other guys. Um, all I know is that these two companies are going head to head and WWE is going to bring a whole bunch of main roster people down. They're promoting the show harder than ever. And they should, you know, they should. But I'm just saying it's like hilarious when they try to say otherwise. But, um, and in AWs, you know, they've got, uh, a loaded show, Moxley and Adam Page and uh, um, Sheeta and um, Sheeta challenging Tony Storm for the championship. And um, so Orange is Orange Cassidy and um, who's Orange Cassidy wrestling? All right, here are the lineups for the next couple of days, everybody, because we got three shows. AW has Moxley and Hangman Page, the Tony Storm Akarshita match, Death Triangle against Orange Cassidy and the best friends for the trio's titles. Yeah. So actually, Orange Cassidy could end up with both belts, as Pac did. We have Chris Jericho versus Dalton Castle for the Ring of Honor title. That's a lot of championship matches. MJF is doing a promo, and Brian Danielson is facing Wheeler Yuta. The one thing with AEW, as they have shown, by having so many belts, these belts mean nothing when it comes to television. I mean, the world title may mean something, but these other titles, I mean, they had... How many titles did they have defended last Friday? Not this past Friday, but the Friday before. I mean, they must have had four or five title matches, and they didn't even do good ratings with it. You know, so it's like, when you know, the more titles that you have, the reality is the less they're going to mean, and we are proving that right now with AEW. Um, so, but yeah, it's a loaded up show um, on Tuesday for for them, and it's a loaded up show for NXT too. We don't even know who's in that show. But we know there's a whole bunch of main roster guys on the show. We have Joe Gacy, Rip Fowler, and Jagger Reed against Cameron Grimes and two folks, presumably from the main roster. Alba Fire versus Sonya Deville. We have Stax against an opponent of Tony D'Angelo's choosing. Roxanne Perez will face an opponent of Cora's choosing. Cora Jade's going to be on Raw Monday to choose the, an the, opponent. The, the, the hint is it's Rio Ripley. And uh, who's back, by the way, had a first match in uh, four months, I believe it was, this weekend. Yeah. And Cora Jade will face an opponent of Roxanne's choosing, who we know is Raquel. Yeah. So, so yeah, lots of main roster people on the, the Tuesday show. So, it'd be a pretty big Tuesday night. Um, I might tell you something. Yes. If Raquel is coming in and Rhea Ripley is coming in, my presumption is the main roster talents are beating Roxanne and Cora. To set up a Roxanne and Cora match. Uh, I, I think so. Not sure I'd do it that way. They're trying to win a ratings war. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. I don't know that that's the optimum way to do it, but I really don't believe that Cora Jade's going to beat Raquel Gonzalez or Rodriguez, either name. Um, and I don't think that uh, I'm virtually certain Rhea Ripley ain't going to lose if she's in the match. So, yep, um, that's that's the way they're going to do it because that's how they they do it. But I mean, I like I like the fact that they are pushing NXT more on the main roster and they're intermixing talent and things like that. I now in one in one way it's kind of silly because they did they did a storyline on uh, SmackDown where Rey Mysterio basically went. Smackdown to get away from Judgment Day because they're on the other brand. But we see guys on both brands all the time, constantly. So it's like, what's to stop Judgment Day from showing up on the other brand? Zilch. I mean, it's just like, it's like they do the storyline and it's like, this makes no sense. I guess they, it's a way to keep them apart um, for a while, which, you know, it's, it is only their, one of their hottest programs. And I suppose. Again, this is one of those let it play out, see what he's got in mind. I mean, he's been doing a good job, so we should let it play out. But the the reasoning, you know, which was like I, you know, he's moved brands to get away from his son is kind of like, well, I mean, if they really had kept the brands, if they kept brands separate and guys didn't go back and forth every week, I mean, that that would make sense. 
except they do every single week there's someone from the other brand on on a show so why would judgment day not show up on smackdown it with if ray's there especially since they're trying to do this match with ray and dominic anyway so anyway then raw monday we've got brock lesnar appears seth rollins versus matt riddle for the u.s title dexter they loomis doing, so they were doing that one on all the house shows this week well they've been doing seth and, and riddle have been headlining all the house shows and it used to be um riddle winning because the baby face goes over but now that seth's the champion seth's been winning the matches this weekend dexter loomis versus the miz where if loomis wins he gets a wwe contract and Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson versus Alpha Academy. Plus the return of Elias. He is back on Monday yeah. night. Yep, yep. So be interesting to see how they do this week. Uh, if they go back to normal with, with this lineup or not. Tuesday's going to be interesting. I, um, You know, I mean, it's, it's head-to-head. They're going against, I think they're going to go against two baseball games. So that's going to hurt as well. You know, for whatever reason, AW always gets hurt with 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 you know news, big news days, or big sports days. Raw gets hurt on big sports days. Um, SmackDown doesn't, but that's usually because the sports are on on cable and they're on network. So there's like they have all those homes that aren't getting the sports. So that actually makes sense. But NXT this last week, you know, they went against. Uh, one baseball playoff game, I think it was, and and they did, you know, better than usual. So, for whatever reason, like the NXT audience doesn't seem to get hurt as much. But man, they're they're both going to be going against real hard competition on Tuesday. So, uh, and it's going to be, it's pretty much going to be that way for a while. Almost everyone's going to be hit because baseball playoffs are going to be pretty much every night for a while. Um, and then uh, NBA's starting up this week, regular season. They had. Preseason's already on, but regular season starts, and the beginning of the season's always going to be big. NHL is around, although NHL regular season's not a big draw, um, but it's still something. And then, you know, Friday's going to be, there's going to be college football on Fridays. There's going to be um, pro football every Monday for a while. I mean, this is going to be the toughest period of the year. Uh, this next month or so uh, will be the toughest period of the year for uh for wrestling and it's like the numbers should be down if they are down don't panic if you're going to go oh look they're down um a little bit and you're not going to say why then you're just being disingenuous i mean they're going to be down that's just the reality because um television ratings are based on competition and some people use that and and you know they, it, that's just how it is so, um, yeah, it's going to be a tough period for wrestling for the next month or so. Um, you know, and obviously for Raw until, uh, you know, mid, mid-January. mid Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.